Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin tutorial. So today I am going to be showing you how to take interference or color shifting pigments and use them to kind of dust a mold and get that subtle color shifting effect. So I picked this mold, which is kind of a medalla. Am I saying that right? I don't feel like I am. It's a big medallion. There we go. It has all these intricate details. So the concept is that we're going to dust the details, but not the sunken in between parts. And then we will have a difference between the interference colors and the background. So I've done this before and I showed you how to dust a larger mold that I did. It was a present for Christmas. I will link that down below. And it worked. It's, a, it's an easy way to add color. Um, and it doesn't have to be an interference color. It can be just a solid mica. But with that project, I used a white resin behind the interference color. And it just didn't show up very well. So today we're going to try a darker color, making a dark red behind this interference color. And we're going to see how it turned out. If you want to follow along, the full supply list is down below. I use amazing clear cast resin, my respirator, my gloves, all my safety equipment. I also use the interference. I believe I used a blue this time. Um, I used a red mica powder for the background. And of course, my heat gun to pop all those bubbles. And let's see how it turns out.
All right, you guys, so dusting this mold took a while, but let's see. Oh, it's, it's not gonna pick it up. Let's put the mold behind it. It's a little better. I will put some close-ups so you can really see it in the unmolding. There we go. There's that color shift. But you can really see the difference. My face is way too close to that camera, you guys. Okay, come back to normal. There we go. <laughs> you can really see the difference between the red and the color shift pigments. So I would call this a success. Just see, look at that. I'm not 100% sold on the Intercurrence Blue and the Red. I think maybe a dark violet background would have been better. Um, but when I started dusting this mold, I didn't think we would be able to get all that detail. And I experimented with several different techniques. I definitely think patting with the flat part of the brush, the pigment down, worked the best. I could definitely see all the detail between the red and color shifting pigment the best on the areas where I did that. So, just a tip, if you liked this project, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications. I will be back next week with another project, but in the meantime, I will put up all the pre-finished pictures of this so you can really see the detail. Let's look.